Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tracy Brown Invitational at Columbus Grove. I'm Jennifer Beck calling tonight's wonderful weather and beautiful meet here at this Columbus Grove Invitational. We are kicking things off with the girls four by 800 meter relay. And before I read to you the teams that we have competing, I wanna remind you that our title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. This is event one. It's the girls four by 800 meter relay. In lane one, A, Columbus Grove. Lane one, B, Arlington. Lane two, A, Riverdale. Lane two, B, Anna. Lane two, C, Macomb. Lane three, A, Lincoln View. Lane three, B, St. John's. And lane three, C, Ottoville. Four runners. Each will run two times around the track. And right now, as they are First runners are making their way around. We got Anna in first grade, first grade Columbus, first place rather, Columbus Grove second, but being challenged by Lincoln View right now. That first runner right there is Victoria Heitkamp from Anna. Your Columbus Grove runner is Sarah Campus. Ladies making their way now to the second leg of the first lap of this uh, first runner rather of this race for girls four by 100, 800 meter relay and a continuing with the lead here height camp as your lead off according to my heat sheet that is sometimes at the last minute Things will change for the relay lineup. And you know what? Also at the last minute, things can change with the lead. And from third to second place, we just saw Lincoln View's Brooklyn Byrne make her way around. She is a freshman, according to the information that I have. So we've got Anna in one, Lincoln View two, Columbus Grove currently three as the first leg runner as they make their way to the straightaway. Nice strength there from Height Camp as she makes her way in and gets getting ready to hand off to Melanie Cranenberg. Nice striding out. Same with Lincoln View. And is Anna in first place still? Lincoln View second. Columbus Grove is in third. Second runner for your current first place, Anna, is Melanie Cranenberg, a freshman. For Lincoln View, your second runner is Ava Milligan. She is a senior. And for Columbus Grove, who's currently in third place, your second runner is Grace Mormon, a junior. First, second, and third runners now back on the straightaway. Of course, this is the place to stride out, and you see exactly what's happening, especially right there with Anna. Cranenberg doing a good job right there of striding out on the back stretch and now shortening up her, her strides there a little bit as she makes her way around watch Lincoln view there it looks like we are watching that lead just tighten up a little bit here and let's see what happens as Lincoln view makes her way to the straightaway here Anna still in the lead but it's going to be interesting to see how much these ladies have for that second 400 in the 800, that is where it comes in. You gotta have the grit in that second 400 to be able to continue at that pace that you need to be running right now, but also getting ready to kick things up in that last 200, which these ladies, of course, are not to yet, but they're obviously thinking about. And the runner from Lincoln View makes the decision to pass on the curve, not always something that runners decide to do, but she must have felt confident with her energy there. And now as we move into that back straightaway, second runner from Lincoln View has moved her team into the first place spot. This is event one, the girls four by 800 meter relay. And you are watching the Tracy Brown Invitational right here on WOSN. Lincoln View's second runner is increasing the lead for her team. Anna is still in second place, and Columbus Grove is still in third. Okay, 
simply beautiful day today for this Invitational. It was originally supposed to be scheduled for Friday. It is currently Monday, April the 15th. And of course, the weather on Friday was not all that great. So this is a great, great day. Looking great as well for that Columbus Grove runner who has now moved her team into second place as she gets ready to hand off. Lincoln View is still in first, handing off to Kendall Hoffman, a sophomore. Columbus Grove now in second place. That's Brianna First who has taken the baton. And your third place runner for Anna is Ava Bolheimer. Watch that straight away back there. We still have the same leader for Lincoln View, but we just had a lead change for second place with Anna moving back into the second place spot as the Anna runner makes her way back up. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see continued changes here as that's the interesting thing about the four by eight. Any coach is probably gonna tell you it can be a challenge to get four solid 800 runners because Truth to be told, a lot of people don't want to run this race. It is gritty, it is hard, it, it takes a lot of effort. So when you get that third runner who's got the ability to have the extra energy and the endurance to move things along, that's a real great blessing. And we are seeing uh, that happen here with Riverdale as now Riverdale has moved into that third place spot and is challenging Anna for the second place spot. But it's still Lincoln View in first place. Kendall Hoffman does not appear to be slowing down any time soon as we see her continue to make her way around the curve. Second place is Anna. Third place is Riverdale. I'm interested to see what the Riverdale runner does here, and she's doing exactly what I expected. She just tucked behind the Anna girl long enough to get around the curve, because you don't really want to pass on the curve if you don't have to. And now you can see she is really striding on this back stretch, lot long strides. Actually, her strides are longer than your leader for Lincoln View. She is making up a lot of ground here. Now let's see what happens. As she gets really close, is she going to tuck in behind, or is the uh, Lincoln View runner going to take off. We are getting ready for the anchors to get the baton as it looks like we're going to have an interesting race here as these two ladies are broken into a sprint and take a look at the Riverdale runner as she has just moved her way right past Lincoln View, moved her team into first place, getting ready now to hand off to the anchor, Allison Woodruff, a junior from Riverdale. Second place now is Lincoln View. Now Brinley Moody just took the baton, and as we know, she is a solid, solid runner, a great long distance runner, and she is just chasing down Woodruff there from Riverdale. Tucking in behind as she get, makes around that curve, gets ready for the straightaway. Will she continue to tuck in and use her energy later, or will she take her now? We see her right now. As of now, Moody is continuing to just tuck behind Woodruff of Riverdale as they are on that back stretch. Brindley Moody, just a sophomore, but really had a standout year as a freshman last year. We saw her win quite a few of the distance races, and she did qualify for state last year, both in track and in cross country. And here goes Moody. Took that straight away and decided to go right past Riverdale moves her team back into the first place spot as she prepares for that final 400. You can see there Woodruff from Riverdale is working to chase her down. Moody just with a very strong stride. Uh, she's, she's really standing up the right way when you are running. Um, and if you notice the length of her stride there, she is taking advantage of that back stretch moving additional distance away from that second place Riverdale team.
Riverdale runner just kicked things up a little bit. You can tell by her strides there, she's moved a little bit more into a sprint. She's gonna try to chase down Moody here for this final 100, but Moody is also not slowing down either. Burnley Moody makes her way toward that finish line. Her goal is to give her team the first running points of this Invitational. And she does it. Lincoln View with the first place finish in the girls' 4 by 800 meter relay. And Riverdale comes in second. Event number two, it's the boys' 4 by 800 meter relay. In lane 1A, we have Columbus Grove. Lane 1B, Ada. Lane 1C, Macomb. Lane 2A, Riverdale. 2B, Lincoln View. 2C, St. John's. Lane 3A, Anna. 3B, Ottoville. And 3C, Arlington. Just like the girls, we got four runners. Each runner is going to run two laps around the track. A little bit difficult right now to see who's in the lead since they did start with that stagger, but once they make their way over to lane one, we'll be able to see who is your leader and your top time coming into this Invitational is Riverdale with an 8.36.25. The next top time behind them is Colu Anna with an 8.36.62, and then we got Columbus Grove with an 8.39.49. So I think we could be in for quite the race. Lincoln View currently in the lead, but Anna pushing their way, his way rather, up as these guys make their second lap around the track. Here's who we have running right now. For Columbus Grove, it's Evan Pitts. For Ada, it's Mason Sullivan. McComb, Ben Householder. Riverdale, Kaysen Barnes. Lincoln View, Creston Toe. Delta St. John's, Zach Bakke. Anna, John Young, Ottoville, Wyatt German, and Arlington, Max Wenner. A reminder that I am reading the relay participants as based off of the heat sheets that I've been given. If any of that information is incorrect, I do apologize. I know that sometimes coaches do make changes at the last minute. We're going to bring you some field event um, information here in just a moment as we watch these guys make their way around. Already quite a race here that we've got going on between Lincoln View and Anna. Wow, look at these two go. Creston Toe and John Young making their way in. Right now it's Lincoln View, but Anna working hard to get close up. Pass off is good. Evan Johns has the baton and he is on his way. Aaron Simpson for Anna currently in second place. And I think that's Columbus Grove in third. I'm looking from the back right now, but I think that might be their um, I'm sure you probably can't see them right now because what you are watching are the leaders. They have a race of their own going on right now. Not quite stride for stride, but pretty close to being stride for stride. We got the neon green shoes leading right now, and we got the green uniform chasing these two. As we watch them make their way around, we'll give you some results here. And the girls' high jump, here are your top finishers. In eighth place, Kendall Palti from Columbus Grove. A tie for sixth place, Mariah King of Ada and Cammie Settledge of Arlington. In fifth place, Alyssa Launder of Arlington. In fourth place, Kara Seaver of Lincoln View. In a tie for second place, McKenna Hepperly of Macomb and Shea Berger of Riverdale. And your champion in the girls high jump, clearing five feet from Delphi St. John's, it's Lila Jackson. Second lap now, and it is still Lincoln View in the lead. That's John Evans, your second runner, being challenged here by Anna's Aaron Simpson. This is going to be the point for Simpson to make his move if he wants to, as he's on that straightaway. But it looks like he's just tucking in, possibly with the plan to take off after they get to that last 200. We'll have to see what happens here. Almost think I just saw a quick look from uh, Lincoln View to see where that runner was. And now we are seeing Anna do exactly what I predicted might happen. He's gonna have about 110 left to go. And now he is gonna go. You're gonna see a race to the handoff here. And it's Anna with a slight lead here over Lincoln View now as they get ready for that handoff to the third runner. Anna in first place, handing off to Kyle Edelman. Second place, Lincoln View, that's Maddox Norton. 
Temperatures are very, very favorable for running today. About low to mid 70s. Sunshine is beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. Really, really a wonderful, wonderful day for track. You know, early track season is going to be sure iffy. And if we had had this meet on the Friday a couple days ago when it was originally scheduled, it would have been a very, very different situation. But it is a beautiful, beautiful day for track today. Anna continuing to be your leader there and is starting to get some distance from the second place spot. Just a reminder, Anna comes in with an 8.36.62 for the seed time. Riverdale comes in with an 8.36.25. And then Columbus Grove a few seconds behind with an 8.39.49. Kyle Edelman cruising his way to his next 400. You can see his teammate there cheering him on. And now we'll see how much the Lincoln View runner has left as he's continuing to chase that Anna runner down. Columbus Grove is in third place right now. Your Columbus Grove runner at the moment is Logan Mershman. In fact, here's a look at all of the runners we have on the field at the moment. Logan Mershman for Grove, Jacob Henson for Ada, Griffin Amador for Macomb, Andrew Woodruff for Riverdale, Maddox Norton for Lincoln View, Isaiah Freewalt for St. John's, Kyle Edelman for Anna, Matthew Horseman for Ottoville, and DJ Stevens for Arlington. We are just at the beginning of our track season, and you know, I really want to make sure I read all of your kids' and grandchildren's names correctly. So if I do it incorrectly, I encourage you to send me an email with the proper pronunciation. My email address is jbeck at wtlw.com. Coming here into the straightaway. The third runners are getting ready. You can see Anna, the runner, almost like he's cramping up trying to, a tiny bit. Maybe not, but he has um, just changed his stance a bit. But he's still handing off in first place. Handing off to Blake Bixler, a sophomore. And your anchor for Lincoln View is Connor Baldoff. Columbus Grove continuing to be in third place. Handing off to Luke Ellerbrock. Connor Baldoff just tucked himself right in there behind your Anna runner. Still has another little over 100 left to go. You want to watch and see what his race philosophy is here. Clearly his goal is to pass the runner and win, of course. But of course in the 800, everybody has a philosophy. Now we're going to have to get around the St. John's runner. And that may have created a little bit of a bottleneck here for Lincoln View, who is trying to make his way around the Anna runner, but is still in that second place position. So Anna's currently with the lead. Lincoln View is second. And then the team that you see right back there actually just handed off. So that, that other team is about uh, 100 behind these two top runners. And now we see Lincoln View make that move. Connor Baldoff probably said, hey, I got to get over here before I get boxed in again. I got to make my move now. And he is making that move. But I tell you, the Anna runner is not, he's not letting him go. So we're going to see what happens in this final 200 here because that's really where you see the final grit with the 800 runners. This is where they got to give everything they have left. Their bodies are really, really tired. But the endurance and the adrenaline kicks in. And it is kicking in now. Watch this final here. Lincoln View. Anna. Almost a tie. It's going to come down to the finish. And it looks like it's Anna with the lean. That's the boys, 4 by 800 meter relay. You're watching the Tracy Brown Invitational in Columbus Grove. I'm Jennifer Beck. I've got Jacob O'Neill here on, cam on camera, and your title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. This is heat three of three in the girls' 100-meter hurdles. In lane one, it's Sierra Meyer of Anna. Lane two, Bree Clausen of Columbus Grove. Lane three, Liv Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. Lane four, Jessa Burgay of Ottoville. Lane 
five, Chelsea McElderney of Anna in lane six, Kendall Palte of Columbus Grove. Liv Lindemann in lane three finished third in the state last year in this race. And off they go, and it is Lindemann, the first one to be over those hurdles. Take a look at her. Through her senior year, we know that she has a plan to send a message to everyone. Third in the state last year, I would imagine she already has a goal for this next year. Can't count out Burgai, who finished second here. She was also at state last year in the 300 hurdles. So there's your finishers. One, two, Lindemann in three. First place from Delphus Jefferson, and Burgai from Ottoville is in second. Moving now to event number four. It's the boys' 110 meter hurdles. This is heat three of three. As we wait for this heat to start, I want to read a few um, results for you in the girls' pole vault. Your winner is Lauren Akmudi from Columbus Grove, clearing 10 feet in the girls' 4 by 800 meter relay. It's Lincoln View with a time of 10.21.23. And in the boys' 4 by 800 meter relay, it's Anna with a time of 8.19.40. Now back to heat three of three in the boys' hurdles. In lane one, it's Julian Gross of Ada. Lane two, Trenton Heacock of Arlington. Lane three, Jackson Brown of Ada. Lane four, Garrett Trentman of Ottoville. Lane five, Leighton Blankmeyer of Columbus Grove. And lane six, Cody Ricker of Lincoln View. There's the whistle. We'll see those runners get into their blocks in just a moment here. Top time coming in is Jackson Brown from Ada, who comes in with a time of 14.90 seconds. Watch the, who's getting over the hurdles first? And that's Garrett Trentman from Ottoville in four. But take a look at Ada's Brown, and he gets it. He's your winner. First place goes to Jackson Brown from Ada. Second place, Garrett Trentman from Ottoville in the boys' 110-meter hurdles. Brown. Event five, the girls' 100-meter dash. This is heat three of four. In lane one, it's Reagan Dunlap of Lincoln View. In lane two, Riley George of Anna. Lane three, Ella Roach of Riverdale. Lane four, Allison Thompson of lane Columbus seven, Grove. Lane five, Alexis Greaser of day. Arlington. One and lane six, Dunlap. Gabby Metzger of Ottoville. This is four, heat Allison three Thompson. of four lane in five, the girls' 100-meter dash. And lane six, Gabby Metzger, Ottoville. Well, it can be hard to gauge when they're actually going to start. It looked like that starter was getting close to being ready to start, but he hasn't quite gotten to that point. They are still waiting on something on the finish side of, of the uh, race. And now they got the white flag. That means they are ready to go. Heat three of four in the girls' 100 meter dash. Fastest time in this heat is Ella Roach in lane three. And that is who we see in the lead right now. Being challenged though by lanes four and five, 
But in this heat, it's Roach from three. In lane three from Riverdale is your winner in this heat. As we get ready for heat four, I want to read some results for you and also make a correction from something I said a few races ago. In the girls' 100-meter hurdles, I incorrectly said who finished in second place. And from where I am sitting, I don't exactly have the best vantage point of the uh, finish line here. Um, so it looked to me like Jessa Bergai of Ottoville finished in second place. It was actually Bree Clausen of Columbus Grove. Here are your top five winners in the girls, or f finishers rather, in the girls' 100 meter hurdles. Sierra Meyer of Anna in fifth place. Chelsea McEldowney of Anna in fourth place. Bergai of Ottoville in third place. Bree Clausen of Columbus Grove in second place. And your winner in the girls' 100 meter hurdles, Liv Lindemann of Delphi St. John's with a time of 16.31. In fact, Liv Lindemann Lindemann is listed here to run, but I'm not sure that I see her there. She is supposed to be in lane three, and it looks like lane three might be empty. Here's who we have. Abby George of Anna in one, Nakia Kimmett of Delphus Jefferson in two. Lindemann is listed in three, but I don't know that we see her. That looks to be an empty lane. Four is Kirsten Jackson of Delphus St. John's. Five is Ava Hershey of Delphus St. John's, and six also is empty. That is supposed to be Jordan Smith of Ada. There's Kemet in lane two from Delphus Jefferson, challenged by Jackson of St. John's, the girls' 100-meter dash. Moving now to event number six, the boys' 100-meter dash. This is a section three of four, heat three of four, that is. In lane one, it's Braylon Barrientes of Columbus Grove. Lane two, Aaron Shappy of Anna, lane three, Jace Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. Lane four, Keegan Bame of Columbus Grove. Lane five, Braylon Rucker of Arlington. And lane six, Will Clark of Riverdale. Current leader, that's lane four. That's Keegan Bame of Columbus Grove. And he gets your heat winner here. Keegan Bame of Columbus Grove, the winner of heat three of four. And now for the final heat in the boys' 100 meter dash. In lane one, it's Braxton Althauser of McComb. Lane two, Dustin Vasco of Anna. Lane three, Michael Turnwald of Ottoville. Lane four, Jackson Brown of Ada. Lane five, Logan Jolliffe of Ada. And lane six, Boston Reynolds of Delphus Jefferson. Quick results for you here as we're getting ready for these guys to get in the blocks. In the boys, 110 meter hurdles in fifth place. It was Cody Ricker of Lincoln View, Trenton Heacock of Arlington in fourth, Leighton Blankemeyer of Columbus Grove finishing in third, Otto Zolz, Garrett Trentman second place, and your winner in the boys, 110 hurdles from Ada, Jackson Brown with a time of 14.99. And they are off and going. Look out there in lane one. That's Braxton Althauser of McComb. Outside smoke takes it in the boys' 100 meter dash. Our title sponsor of the Tracy Brown Invitational at Columbus Grove High School is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We're about to have the girls 4x200 meter relay. This is heat two of two. As they are getting into the blocks and getting ready, we're going to bring you some results from the girls 100 meter dash. In fifth place, it was Allison Thompson of Columbus Grove. In fourth place, Kirsten Jackson of Delphi St. John's. In third place, Nakia Kimmett of Delphi Jefferson. In second place, Ella Roach of Riverdale. And your winner, Ava Hershey of Delphi St. John's with a time of 13.09. Here we get ready now again for the Heat two of the girls' 4x200 meter relay. In lane one, it's Ottoville leading off with Abigail Lucer. Lane two, Delphi St. John's leading off with Evie Vonderwell. Lane three, Columbus Grove, Devaney Pingle. Lane four, Anna, Abby George. Lane five, Riverdale, Ella Roach. And lane six, McComb, McKenna Hepperly. Your top time coming in 
is lane three, Columbus Grove, with a seed time of 149.50. Also want to take a moment to remind you that we are currently in our Spring to Life Mother, funding campaign, the goal of raising $75,000 by Mother's Day. Donate as a way to say thank you for this broadcast at axeministries.com. Set. The leadoff runners are gone. They're going to make their halfway around the track before they hand off. And of course, in all of the sprint uh, relays, the handoffs are so important. These are the things that these relay runners practice over and over again. With the staggered start, it isn't exactly easy to see who is in the lead, but Riverdale's Ella Roach is about to hand off first which means in lane five, Riverdale is your current leader. They come in with a seed time of 156.28. Eden Barnes is the second runner for Riverdale. Second runners overall, it's Andrea Swint for Ottoville, Sydney Rosterfer for St. John's, Bree Clausen for Columbus Grove, Riley George running for Anna, Eden Barnes for Riverdale, and Miranda Wells for Macomb. Watch the handoffs. That's how we know who is in the lead. And it's Anna that appears to have taken that spot. Third runner is Ava Reed for Anna, a sophomore, already making up a stagger there as she makes her way around. Anna's seed time coming in with a 151.10, just behind Columbus Grove's seed time. Runners are now getting ready to hand off to the anchors, who are Kylie Hilvers from Ottawa in one, Avery Pullman from St. John's in two, Jade Rader from Columbus Grove, your anchor in three, Jenna Walters from Anna in lane four, Emily O'Flattery of Riverdale in five, and Casey Like of McComb in six. And those anchors are making their way around into the straightaway and take a look at the Anna runner, but also look at the Columbus Grove runner trying to race her down. Can she get her? Doesn't appear to be Anna. Four by 200 girls first place. Columbus Grove will come in second. Heat two in the boys' four by 200 meter relay is coming up next. We have some results from the boys' 100 meter dash, finishing in fifth place, Keegan Bame of Columbus Grove. Fourth place, Dustin Vasco of Anna. Third place, Logan Jolliffe of Ada. Second place, Jackson Brown of Ada. And your winner in the boys' 100 meter dash, Braxton Althauser of McComb, running a time of 11.38 seconds. In heat two of the boys' 4 by 200 meter relay, it's Arlington in lane one with Braylon Rucker. Lane two is Ottoville with Alex Lease. Lane three, Anna Dustin Vasco. Lane four, Columbus Grove, Keegan Bame. Lane five, Riverdale, Jack Dussault. And lane six, Lincoln View, Tyler Spray. While we're waiting for them to get started, we'll give you a few more results here in the boys' high jump. Tied a meet record set in 2009. It's Calvin Willow of Arlington with six feet, six inches clearing. Congratulations to him in the boys' high jump. Well, they had them all ready to go, and now they have called them off for just a moment. Looks like it may have been a gun malfunction, possibly. Not sure. The starter had both arms up and was ready, and then 
took his arms down and walked away. So while we wait on that, we'll give you the results in the girls' 4 by 200 meter relay, finishing in sixth place. It's Arlington. In fifth place, it's rather Lincoln View. I'm sorry. Sixth place, it's Lincoln View. Fifth place, Arlington. Fourth place, Macomb. Third place, Riverdale. Second place, Columbus Grove. And your winning team in the girls' 4 by 200 meter relay is Anna. Abby George, Riley George, Ava Reed, and Jenna Walters running a time of 150.40. And now we are ready for the boys' 4x200 meter relay. Lane one is Arlington. Lane two is Ottoville. Lane three, Anna. Lane four, Columbus Grove. Lane five, Riverdale. And lane six, Lincoln View. We're watching the handoffs here to give us an idea of who is in the lead as they start with that staggered. It isn't always easy to tell, but you can already tell in lane four, that's Keegan Bame getting close to making up a stagger. He is in lane four. Also take a look at Dustin Vasco from Anna in lane five. Near tie as we've got our second runners making their way around the oval. We're going to be able to see the story here as these guys make their way to the straightaway. That's Garen Nottage from Anna racing down Grant Eversole of Columbus Grove. Watch the handoff. Anna with the slight lead over Columbus Grove as the third Anna runners now make their way around. Anna's third runner is Aaron Shappy. Grove is running Leighton Blankemeyer here. As we've got three teams up there vying for that first place spot. Riverdale's got Nick Tackett in the third place position. Third runner position, rather. Anna. Hands off first, and they are anchoring with Jason Muter. Muter with the lead. Groves, Trenton Barraza racing him down. But Anna with a strong lead here as he makes his way, Jason Muter makes his way into the final. Let's watch the second place, and Grove holds off for the second place finish. Event nine, the girls' 1600 meter run. You're watching the Tracy Brown Invitational at Columbus Grove High School. Our title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Our runners in this race are the following. In lanes one, or lane one rather, A, B, and C, it's Kendall Hoffman of Lincoln View, Chloe Powell of Riverdale, and Izzy Kretz of Arlington, and Madeline Hahn of St. John's. In lane two, A, B, C, D, and E, it's Allison Woodruff of Riverdale, Lily Montgomery of Columbus Grove, Olivia Brecker of Anna, Morgan Hurston of Ottoville, Olivia Baki of Delphi St. John's. And three, A, B, C, and D. It's Brinley Moody of Lincoln View, Sarah Camphouse of Columbus Grove, Melanie Cranenberg of Anna, and Allie Settledge of Arlington. Four laps around the track. The ladies are close to finishing their first, and your current leaders are Allison Woodruff of Riverdale, and Brinley Moody of Lincoln View. These two ladies come in with the top seated times. 524 flat for Woodruff, 525 flat for Moody. Two Columbus Grove runners are making up third and fourth place right now as the ladies are making their way into their second lap. Four laps around the track in the girls' 1600 meter run. We have Scoring up to, with six events scored in the girls, this is where we stand at this point. Columbus Grove is your leader with 44 points. Anna second, or Anna, Riverdale second with 36.75. Anna third with 35.75. St. John's fourth with 31.75. Lincoln View is in fifth. Arlington is in sixth. Delphus Jefferson seventh. Macomb eighth. 
Otterville ninth, and Ada is in 10th. Del, we've had a little bit of a shift in our speed, haven't we? Of course, we just came by from the four by 200 meter relay where the men and ladies were flying around the track. Now we have the 1600, a much more calculated, uh, paced race where I can promise you that these ladies are thinking through what they're doing. They have a plan. Our two leaders in the front are that same way. Brindley Moody, sophomore from Lincoln View, we watched her with her strong running last year as a freshman. What she likes to do a lot of time is tuck in and just move along until it's time for her to run her race. Now today, she is running against someone who comes in with one second faster seed time. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when it's time to make that move and time to speed up. We still have two Columbus Grove runners in three and four right now. Of course, one of the blessings for a team that's got depth in distance is the ladies get to pace each off of each other and race together. You know, not seeing them right next to each other, but you can get some good points there if Columbus Grove can stick there with third and fourth place. No change in our leader right now. It's still Allison Woodruff, the junior from Riverdale, and right behind her, Brindley Moody, the sophomore from Lincoln View. I want to take a moment right now to remind you that TV44 and WOSN are in the middle of our Spring to Life funding campaign. This is a time of year where we come to our viewers and we say, hey, we know that um, at least we hope you enjoy what you're watching here on this station. We hope you appreciate what we're doing here with what we uh, are bringing you with this track meet and the other things that we do. And it's an opportunity for you to financially say thank you. You can go to axministries.com and donate any amount. Get us one step closer to that $75,000 goal. Axministries.com or call 419-339-4444. Well, as I said before, Brindley Moody There's likes to stay boys. behind We're until she's ready to run her race. And we saw on the straightaway, she was ready to run her race. Here she is now in this final lap, and she is now making her uh, statement here, moving further and further away from the second place, Allison Woodruff. Brindley Moody from Lincoln View, standout runner last year, making it to state, making it to state again this year in cross country. It's always fun to watch these young runners make their way up and see here's a sophomore. She's got a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more maturity, a little bit more experience. And now we're seeing her with those strong strides as she increases her winning distance again. Making her way now into the final 100. That's Brindley Moody, still in first place. But take a look at Woodruff getting that a bit of a, a sprint record. on as well. But it doesn't appear that it's going to be enough. Your winner in the girls, 1600 meter run from Lincoln View, it's Brindley Moody. Event 10, the boys 1600 meter run, 19 competitors here. Here's who we have. In lane one, Wyatt German of Ottoville, Braylon Best of Columbus Grove, Cade Regal of Arlington, Hank Kopak of St. John's, Dakota Gossman of Ada, and Griffin Anderson of Arlington. Lane two, Luke Ellerock of Columbus Grove, Creston Toe of Lincoln View, Andrew Woodruff of Riverdale, Mason German, Fort Jennings, Jacob Henson, Ada, and Andy Walpole of St. John's. Also, Eric Lopez of Macomb. Lane three, John Young of Anna, Blake Vixler of Anna, John Evans of Lincoln View, Gabe Donaldson of Riverdale, Matthew Hortzman of Ottoville, and Ben Householder of Macomb. Notice that this, this group is a little bit closer together than we saw with the girls 1600. We're still already seeing your leaders there from Anna, John Young, and from Columbus Grove, Luke Ellerbrock, but the rest of the field not all that far behind. We've got a Lincoln View runner in third and another Anna runner in fourth. Speaking of Anna, John Young, your leader, comes in with the second fastest seed time with a 436.31. Luke Ellibrock, who is tucked right in there behind him, is your fastest seed time with a 432 flat. Both of these guys are seniors and they know each other very well. That's the interesting thing about distance running is they don't just compete against each other. 
they know each other. There's a good chance that these guys may have even went out for a run together. I don't know if these two did, but it happens a lot in the distance running. Competitive yet friendly. And uh, I can't say for sure that that is the case with these two, but as has been the history in Northwest Ohio, the distance runners really are very supportive of one another. But in this race, I can guarantee one wants to win. They both want to win, but only one of them is going to win. Still, it's Anna's young as your leader as they make their way around the curve. Ellerbrock still just tucked in behind. It's going to be interesting to see if he does the same type of thing that Brindley Moody did, just stayed right in his spot until he's ready to make his move, or will the Anna runner be the one making his move? Lincoln View still in third place. Anna in fourth, Riverdale in fifth, and another Lincoln View runner in sixth, moving his way up to fifth. We'll give you some results here as we watch these guys make their third lap around. In the boys' shot put, finishing in fifth place, it was Nick Bormuth of Macomb. In fourth place, Colton Knippen of Ottoville. Third place, Kaylin Mays of Columbus Grove. Second place, Stephen Smith of Lincoln View. And your winner, Elijah Gibbs of Macomb, throwing 49 Seven, and there's Ella Brock. He made his move on that straightaway. Of course, if you're gonna make a move, that's the place to do it. Use the straightaway to make his way into the first place spot. And a runner still in second place, but the lead is lengthening with every single strive that Ella Brock's got. So now we're Ella Brock runs rather. Now we're gonna see what both of these guys have left, as they've got about. 410 left to go here. One lap coming up in just a moment. Ellerbrock with a sturdy, solid upper body as he pushes his way around. And now he speeds things up. Just about 300. Luke Ellerbrock increasing his lead on that back straightaway. Anna's John Young in second place. What you can't see right now, and we'll go ahead and just keep the camera right there where it is, Ellerbrock is your leader, is the interesting race that is going to take place for about sixth place, there's about seven runners who could kick it in in the last 200 and see who gets that. But in this case, it's Luke Ellerbrock. Head wobbling just a tad bit as he makes his way toward the finish line. The senior from Columbus Grove is going to win his home meet race in the 1600. John Young of Anna will finish second. And it's going to be a race for third. Take a look at that. Event 11. It's the girls' 4 by 100 meter relay. This is heat two of two. In lane one, Arlington with Cami Settledge. Lane two, Riverdale, Kennedy Phelps. Lane three, Delphi St. John's, Ava Hershey. Lane four, Abby George leads off for Anna. Lane five, Columbus Grove with Bryn Hawker. And lane six, Macomb, McKenna Hepperley. As they're getting into the blocks to finish up, give you the results from the girls' 1600 meter run. In fifth place, Lily Montgomery of Columbus Grove. Fourth place, Chloe Powell of Riverdale. Third place, Sarah Camphouse of Columbus Grove. Second place, Allison Woodruff of Riverdale and your winner in the girls' 1600 meter run, Brindley Moody of Lincoln View with 524-24. And the girls are off. This race is about starts and handoffs. We're taking a look at the handoff and lane four, that's Anna from Abby George to Riley George. They appear to be your leader. But in this race, it can change so quickly. Second to third exchange is clean and that's Anna still with the lead Chelsea McEldowney takes the baton and is getting ready to hand off to Ava Bolheimer but it's going to be a race for the end because take a look at Lila Jackson 
from Delphi St. John's. Kirsten Jackson got her team up, handed it off to Lila Jackson, who finishes it off for the win. Delphi St. John's in the girls 4x100 meter relay. Time now for the boys 4x100 meter relay. In lane one, it's Arlington with Braylon Rucker. Lane two, Dustin Vasco of Anna. Lane three, Riverdale, Landon Bailey. Lane four, Logan Jolliffe leads off for Ada. Lane five, Columbus Grove, Keegan Bame. And lane six, Ottoville leading off with Alex Lease. Some results to bring you in the boys four by 200 meter relay. It was Lincoln View in fifth place, Ottoville in fourth, Riverdale in third, Columbus Grove in second, and Anna was your winner in that race with a team of Dustin Vasco, Jaron Nottage, Aaron Shappy, and Jason Muter. In the boys' long jump, your top five finishers in fifth place, Warren Mason of Lincoln View, fourth place, Drew Boggs of St. John's, third place, Cole Knippen of Ottoville, second place, Trenton Heacock of Arlington, and your winner, Grant Eversole of Columbus Grove, with a jump of 19 feet. 2.5 inches. After seven events scored, Ada is in fifth place with 30 points. Lincoln View is in fourth place with 31. Arlington in third place with 32. Anna is in second place with 36. And your hosts, Columbus Grove, are leading with 52 points in the men's team ranking. Four by one is off and running, getting ready for that first handoff. Looks very close, but it appears that that was Columbus Grove from Bame to Eversole with the current lead, but let's watch for the next handoff and see who we think gets it first. And again, it looks like, again, that was Columbus Grove handing off to Trenton Barraza. And Barraza is blazing his way around the track, getting ready to hand off to Trevin Baxter. And look at Baxter go. Baxter making his way for Columbus Grove. It's going to be a fight for second place between Ottoville and Ada, but it's Columbus Grove, your winner in the boys' 4 by 100 meter relay. We continue our broadcast with the girls' 400 meter dash. Our broadcast of the Tracy Brown Invitational at Columbus Grove is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. In heat three of three in the girls' 400 in lane one, it's Annalise Woodruff of Riverdale. Lane two, Devaney Pingle of Columbus Grove. Lane three, Marissa Baumham of Riverdale. Lane four, Jade Roeder of Columbus Grove. Lane five, Ava Reed of Anna. And lane six, Jordan Smith of Ada. Ninth and 10th graders in this fastest heat. No juniors or seniors here. We've got two freshmen and four sophomores. One lap around the track. They will stay in their lanes for the entire lap. It's always an interesting philosophy to see how these runners run this race. You can just go all out and make it an all out sprint. Other runners will pace themselves a little bit in the first 200 and then blaze the second 200. So you never really can count any of these runners out till you get toward the end because some of those sneaky runners like to come in that final 200. So let's see what's going to happen as we have hit that final 200 here. Our fastest seed time coming in is Marissa from Riverdale in lane three. She comes in with a one minute .43 seed time. And that is your current leader. You can see her with a strong lead here as she finishes in that final 100. Putting her head down just a little bit, blazing her way toward the end with the hot pink spikes. Of course, her goal, I'm sure, is to break one minute. That's always a runner's goal. We don't know what her time was, but we do know that she was the winner in this race. Second place is Devaney Pingle of Columbus Grove. And third place, her teammate Jade Roeder, also from Columbus Grove. Event 14, the boys 400 meter dash. This is the fourth heat. Actually, we had a combined thing, so we combined it into three heats. So this is heat three of three. Before we get there, I want to give you an update in the boys long jump. Our previous results were incorrect. They have been corrected. In fifth place, Cole Knippen of Ottoville. Fourth place, or rather fourth place, Cole Knippen of Ottoville. Third place, Trenton Heacock of Arlington. Grant Eversole got second place. He's from Columbus Grove. Your winner in the boys' long jump, Braxton Althauser from Macomb, jumping 21, 9.25.
inches. That is an update. The previous results that we had received were incorrect. We'll give you more results coming up in the 3200 meter run. But first, we have the boys 400 meter dash. In lane one from Anna, Jason Muter. Lane two, Jaron Nottage of Anna. Lane three, Trenton Barraza of Columbus Grove. Lane four, Luke Donaldson of Riverdale. Lane five, Zane Steckscholdy of Columbus Grove. And lane six, Caleb Hickman of Ada. Couple names that we've already heard quite a bit running in the sprint races. So it's gonna be fun to watch these guys run. Your top time coming in is Trenton Barraza of Columbus Grove. His seed time is 52.50, a full second faster then the second seed time, Luke Donaldson in lane four, Riverdale with a 53.65. WSN and TV44 are in the process of raising money for the Spring to Life funding campaign. We've raised almost $60,000 so far of our $75,000 campaign. Would you donate? A gift in any amount is a way to say thank you for this broadcast. Just visit AxeMinistries.com. You can donate any time of the day or night. It is safe and secure. AxeMinistries.com. Click on Donate. Perhaps you'd like to become a monthly donor. That's an option as well. Every single month, it's an opportunity for you to say thank you for what WSN and TV44 are doing in this region. They are off and they are going one time around the track and already we are seeing Barraza in lane three race his way around. He's making up the stagger of lane four. Getting close to making up the stagger of lane six. Let's watch him go. We got 200 yards left to run. Trenton Barraza of Columbus Grove, your current leader Luke Donaldson of Riverdale working to chase him down. Remember what I said in the girls, sometimes runners do a backward split and we might be seeing that with Luke Donaldson as he is speeding up in that second 200. But Trenton Barraza, eyes on the finish line. Look at him pump his fists as he pushes his way into the winning zone. He is your champion in the boys 400 meter dash. Moving on to the girls' 300-meter hurdles. This is heat three of three. In lane one, it's Chelsea McEldowney of Anna. Lane two, Kendall Palti of Columbus Grove. Lane three, Liv Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. Lane four, Jessa Burgai of Ottoville. Lane five, Bree Clausen of Columbus Grove. And lane six, Mariah King of Ada. Liv Lindemann, a state qualifier last year in several events. Jessa Burgai, a qualifier last year in the 300 hurdles. Lindemann is in three. Burgai is in four. Well, and as I mention that and I look up, it looks like we are actually missing Liv Lindemann. We saw her in the 100 hurdles, but we did not see her in the 100 free. And, or, I'm sorry, 100 free. My swimming uh, history is coming out in the 100 dash. So it does not appear that we see her in this race either. Your leader from Ottoville, last year's state qualifier, Jessa Burgai of Ottoville. She is a senior. Two hurdles left to go, and she is your leader. Your second place runner right now from Columbus Grove, that's Kendall Palte, a sophomore. Ottoville is going to take that first place spot in the girls' 300 meter hurdles. Event 16, the boys 300 meter hurdles. This is heat three of three. In lane one, Josiah Richards of Anna. Lane two, Leighton Blankemeyer of Columbus Grove. Lane three, Garrett Trentman of Ottoville. Lane four, Julian Gross of Ada. Lane five, Cody Ricker of Lincoln View. And lane six, Trenton Heacock of Arlington. Garrett Trentman of Ottoville in lane three comes in with your top seat time of 39.84 seconds. They are off and running. And last year's state qualifier, Garrett Trentman of Ottoville is over the first hurdle first. And he is quickly making his statement here. Moving on to that third hurdle. 
and he is still strongly in the lead. Take a look at the strength that he's got as he paces himself between each of these hurdles. He is in the lead with a strong stance there as he's on this straightaway with just two hurdles left to go. Your second place runner right now is Leighton Blankemeyer from Columbus Grove and your third place is Cody Ricker from Lincoln View. Almost a stumble there, but he makes it to the finish. Garrett Trentman from Ottoville, your champion in the boys 300 meter hurdles. Time now for the girls' 800-meter run. And good time also to remind you that our title sponsor of this broadcast is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. He two of two in the girls' 800-meter run. Two times around the track, and these are your runners. In lane one, A, B, and C, Brooklyn Byrne of Lincoln View, Lauren Martz of Columbus Grove, and Annalise Woodruff of Riverdale. Two, A, B, C, and D, Sophia Schaefer of Fort Jennings, Victoria Heitkamp of Anna, Lydia Damascio of Ada, and Chloe Powell of Riverdale. And three, A, B, and C, Brindley Moody of Lincoln View, Grace Mormon of Columbus Grove, and Madeline Smith of Macomb. Runners will stay in their staggered lane areas until they make it about three-fourths around this track. Once they get there, you'll see the very small orange cones which signal the opportunity for the runners to move into lane one. Two laps around the track. Top time coming in is Brinley Moody with a 227. We've already seen her win the 1600 and anchor the winning four by 800 meter or four by 800 meter relay. And that's Brinley Moody, who is the first to slowly make her way over to the first lane. No rush there, she's not gonna be bumping into anyone's spot. She already has a strong lead here as she gets ready for the second half of her race. She's got a teammate, Bryn Brooklyn Byrne, right there behind her in second place. And then Anna is in third place, Victoria Heidkamp. We don't want to count out Breslin Rohr from Delphi St. John's, who won the first heat. She was a no time going into that first heat. I do not know right now what her time was, but she did look like a pretty strong uh, runner in that first heat. So once we get the results, got to keep in mind that those first heat runners can move their way in to the um, the points winning spots if they run a faster time. Well, speaking of the fastest time, that's Brindley Moody from Lincoln View. Little less than 200 to go as she has a strong lead over the rest of the competition. Her teammate, also from Lincoln View, is still in second place, but not any longer. Anna has moved into that second place spot. So it's Lincoln View one, Anna two, Lincoln View three, Brindley Moody strongly making her way into the finish line. Even though she has a strong lead, you can see she is not letting up. Long strides, strong pumping with her arms. She gets another first place finish in this meet. Second place goes to Anna. Lincoln View trying to hold on to third place. Not sure if she knows how close that runner is. Oh, that's a close one at the end. The girls 800 meter run. Moving on now to event 18, the boys 800 meter run, heat two of two. Here are our runners. In lane one, A, B, C, and D. Creston Toe of Lincoln View, Colton Evans of Riverdale, Bryce Boniface of Columbus Grove, and Matthew Hortzman of Ottoville. In two, A, B, C, and D. Connor Baldoff of Lincoln View, Evan Pitts of Columbus Grove, Kaysen Barnes of Riverdale, and Wyatt German of Ottoville. Three, A, B, C, and D, Blake Bixler of Anna, John Young of Anna, Mason Selover of Ada, and Brody Erickson of Ada. Two laps around the track, and the boys have about 200 in right now as we watch them, just like we saw in the 1600, pretty close pack here. I mean, they started off this 200, pretty close on their pace, but once we get them to make their way around and have the opportunity to move over into lane one, we're gonna see a little bit better picture of who is our leader. And our leader is from Lincoln View. Connor Baldoff comes in with the top time of a 2.02. 02. 
Blake Bixler from Anna is the second seated time, 2.02.87. Creston Toe of Lincoln View, 2.05. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't know if that was Connor Baldoff because we got two Lincoln View runners here that are making their way. Baldoff is your top seed time coming in with a 2.02. It's Lincoln View in first place. It's Lincoln View in second place. Anna in third place. And suddenly it's Anna again in fourth place right now. We've got another place change. Still Lincoln View in first place, but Anna has moved up to second place. Now we see the point where the speed comes in with the endurance. And you're seeing that happen with your leader right now. He just increased his stride, which is pretty impressive because the 800, one of the toughest races, I believe, in track. 300 hurdles, incredibly tough. But the 800, here's the point. We got speed, grit, and endurance. And this one is going to come down to the end. Take a look at the race that's happening right now. Who won? We're gonna have to see the results. That was a close one. First, second, third, and fourth. Impressive runs in the boys' 800 meter run. This broadcast of the Tracy Brown Invitational held in Columbus Grove is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We are in event 19. It's the girls' 200-meter dash. This is heat three of four. In lane one, we have Reagan Dunlap of Lincoln View. Lane two, Gabby Metzger of Ottoville. Lane three, Ella Roach of Riverdale. Lane four, Mo Morgan Schultz of Anna. Lane five, Alexis Greiser of Arlington. And lane six, Paige Clevenger, also of Arlington. Just want to give out another reminder as we are early on in the track season. I really want to make sure I'm saying everybody's names correctly and I'm sure I'm not saying everybody's names correctly. I invite you to email me name pronunciations at jbeck at wtlw.com. Our goal at WSN is to follow track all the way to state. We want to make sure that we have those names correct. Well the girls were in the blocks. Starter got them out for just a moment. Now he's got that right arm up, and the girls will be back in momentarily. The TV44 Spring to Life funding campaign is still underway. Our goal is $75,000 by Mother's Day. Would you make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for broadcasting this and other events of your high school athletes? Go to axministries.com to donate and for more information. Halfway around the track, the ladies are off and running. And right now, we're looking at lanes three and lanes five as your leaders. That would be Ella Roach from Riversdale and Alexis Grazer of Arlington. And it is three and five as they're eyeing their way toward the finish line. Riverdale with a slight edge. Can she hold on to win this heat? And there you go, that's heat three of four. Heat four of four in the girls' 200 meter dash. In lane one, it's Allison Thompson of Columbus Grove. Lane two, Kirsten Jackson of Delphi St. John's. Lane three, Ava Reed of Anna. Lane four, Lauren Ockmoody of Columbus Grove. Lane five, Marissa Baumam of Riverdale. And lane six, Nakaya Kimmett of Delphus Jefferson. Three ladies coming in with seed times in the 27s. Ava Reed with the top seed time in lane three, Akmudi in four, and Baumem in five. All just a matter of hundredths of a second apart. But it's that outside lane, Nakaya Kimmett of Delphus Jefferson. Can she hold on for that finish? And there you go, it's the girls 200 meter dash. Event 20, boys 200 meter dash. This is heat three of four. In lane one, Jack Dusso of Riverdale. Lane two, Michael Turnwald, Ottoville. Lane three, Alex Lease of Ottoville. Lane four, Grant Eversole, Columbus Grove. Lane five, Jason Muter of Anna. And lane six, Cordain Thomas of Lincoln View.
And it's the runner from Columbus Grove that is leading what looks like a perfect V there. That is Eversol of Columbus Grove. He is your winner in this heat. Heat four of four in the boys 200 meter dash. In lane one, Braxton Althauser of Macomb. Lane two, Logan Jolliffe of Ada. Three, Boston Reynolds, Delphus Jefferson. Four, Jace Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. Five, Jackson Brown of Ada. And lane six, Noah Locke of Riverdale. Take a look at lane one. That is Braxton Althauser, but don't forget about Jackson Brown of Ada. What a finish right there. Looks like Brown is your winner, but we'll wait to see the results to know for sure. We're moving into event 21. It's the girls 3,200 meter run. Here are your runners. In lane one, Annalise Woodruff of Riverdale, Elisa Renner of Lincoln View and Katie Donaldson of St. John's. In two, Allison Woodruff of Riverdale, Lily Montgomery of Columbus Grove, Ali Settledge of Arlington is listed, but I'm not sure if she is in the competition tonight. Lane three, A, Sarah Camphouse of Columbus Grove, B, Ava Milligan of Lincoln View, and C, Reagan Zander of Arlington. This is the 3,200 meter run, so we've moved into the longest race of this event. Eight laps is what these ladies are going to be running. We've got four runners right there vying for that top spot as they get things started. And as we watch them make their way around, we want to give you some results. Here are some of the girls' results from tonight's meet. In the girls' 400-meter dash, your top five finishers. Fifth place, Morgan Schultze of Anna. Fourth place, Ava Reed of Anna. Third place, Jade Roeder of Columbus Grove. Second place, Devaney Pingle of Columbus Grove. And your winner, Marissa Baumam of Riverdale, running a time of 1 minute, 0.61. In the girls' 4 by 100 meter relay, top five finishers. Fifth place, Macomb. Fourth place, Delphus Jefferson. Third place, Columbus Grove. Second place, Anna. And your winning 4 by 100 meter relay team of Ava Hershey, Evie Vonderell, Kirsten Jackson, and Lila Jackson, running a time of 51.90. That is Delphus St. John's. In the girls' long jump, your top five finishers. Fifth place, McKenna Hepperly of Macomb. Fourth place, Ava Hershey of St. John's. Third place, Jessa Burgay of Ottoville. Second place, Marissa Baumham of Riverdale. And your winner in the girls' long jump, Lauren Achmoody of Columbus Grove, jumping 16, 2.5. In the girls' discus throw, your top five finishers. Fifth place, Ella Elling of Lincoln View. Fourth place, Nicole Nesby of Columbus Grove. Third place, Kinsey Scholl of Riverdale. Second place, Addison Landrum Bales of Anna. And your winner, Lauren Martz of Columbus Grove. 107.11 was her winning throw. And in the girls, 800 meter run. Fifth place, Brooklyn Byrne of Lincoln View. Fourth place, Chloe Powell of Riverdale. Third place, Breslin Rohr of St. John's. I mentioned her. She came out of Heat won and finished in third place. Second place, Victoria Heitkamp of Anna. And your champion, running a time of 229.20 from Lincoln View, Brindley Moody. After 13 events scored, here are your standings. 11th place, Fort Jennings. 10th place, Ada. 9th place, Delphus Jefferson with 21. 8th place, Macomb with 24. 7th place, Arlington, 25.25. 6th place, Ottoville with 29. Fifth place, St. John's, 52.75. Fourth place, Lincoln View with 63. Third place, Anna with 81.75. Second place, Riverdale with 89.75. And your leader, your host, Columbus Grove, with 111. That's after 13 events scored. As the ladies make their way around, our leader is from Riverdale. Got two Riverdale runners, and Allison Woodruff comes in with your top seed time of 11.48. Interestingly, got two Woodruff runners from Riverdale. I would guess these are sisters, Allison and Annalise. Riverdale currently in the lead. Columbus Grove is currently in second. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with about two laps to go in the girls' 3,200-meter run. And we're back. You are watching Allison Woodruff from Riverdale. Two laps to go, 
and she has a very strong lead over Columbus Grove. As we watch her near her, uh, well, getting close to the 300 mark here in the second to last lap. I'm gonna give you a few more updated results. In the girls 200 meter dash, fifth place, Ella Roach of Riverdale. Fourth place, Kirsten Jackson of St. John's. Third place, Marissa Baumham of Riverdale. Second place, Lauren Ockmoody of Columbus Grove. And your winner from Delphus Jefferson, Nakaya Kimmett with a time of 26.83 seconds. In the girls, 300 meter hurdles. In fifth place, Clara Meyer of Anna. Fourth place, Bree Clausen of Columbus Grove. Third place, Chelsea, Chelsea McEldowney of Anna. Fourth place, Kendall Palte of Columbus Grove. And your winner, Jessica Burgay of Ottoville in a time of 48.71 seconds. With 14 events scored, here are your standings. Fort Jennings in 11th place, Ada in 10th, McComb in 9th, Delphus Jefferson in 6th. Uh, Arlington in eighth, sorry, Ottoville in seventh, Delphus Jefferson in sixth with 31, Delphus St. John's in fifth with 57.75, Lincoln View in fourth with 63, Anna in third with 82.75, Riverdale second, 99.75, and Columbus Grove is your leader with a score of 121. And here she is from Riverdale, your leader in the 3,200 meter run. She's got one lap left to go. And she has a very strong lead over Columbus Grove in second place. So right now we've got Riverdale in first place, Columbus Grove in second place, Lincoln View in third place, Riverdale in fourth place. As these ladies finish, get ready rather, to finish their final lap. I want to remind you again that our title sponsor for this track meet is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We're just at the beginning of our track season. We've got quite a few more meets that we hope to broadcast for you as we make our way all the way to the state meet. But to be honest, these meets cost money. Perhaps your business would like to sponsor one of our meets. Call the TV station at 419-339-4444 to learn how you can be a sponsor for one of our upcoming meets. We have several meets still on the schedule as well as baseball and softball games and those are opportunities as well. Look at this girl make her way into the finish. Finishing so strong. First place for Allison Woodruff of Riverdale. She's the winner in the girls 3200 meter run. Time now for the boys' 3,200-meter run. Here's who we have running in this race. In lane one, it's Andrew Woodruff of Riverdale, Mason Derman of Fort Jennings, Ethan Spitnail of Riverdale, and Liam Druckmuller of Ottoville, as well as Jacob Henson of Ada. Two, Luke Ellibrock of Columbus Grove, Maddox Norton of Lincoln View, Titus Young of Anna, Riley Kemper of Ottoville, Dylan Shahan, Shaheen of Arlington, and Riley Winslick of St. John's. In three, Levi Bryan of Columbus Grove, Ethan D'Souza of Ada, Kyle Edelman of Anna, Griffin Anderson of Arlington, Xander Coyle of Lincoln View, and Eric Lopez of Macomb. Not surprising, already out early, it's Luke Ellibrock of Columbus Grove. Comes in with a seat time of 9.45 flat. This very decorated runner, senior this year, is leading the pack very quickly. His teammate from Columbus Grove currently in second. We've got Riverdale in third and two Lincoln Views in fourth and fifth. But it's Luke Ellerbrock out moving quickly. Luke has already broken a, hold on a second as I find my results. He won the 1600 earlier with a new meet record of 430.09. Our results from the boys 1600 meter run in fifth place, Evan Johns of Lincoln View, fourth place, Blake Bixler of Anna, Third place, Creston Toe of Lincoln View. Second place, John Young of Anna and Luke Ellibrock. New meet record with a time of 4.30.09 in the boys' 1,600 meter run. Already making a statement here in the 3,200. Strong lead with just way early in the race. And his teammate from Grove continuing to be in second place. Really think about it. What a, what a 
positive opportunity to train with someone like Luke Ellerbrock. That is one of the blessings of being on a team with really strong runners, which we got a lot of strong runners here today, but Columbus Grove has had strength for years. And when your earlier runners, your younger runners can come up and they can then train with the other runners, a lot of really great things can happen. Well, what other great things have happened in this meet so far? How about some more results? So we got six laps left to go in the boys' 4 by 100 meter relay. Fifth place, it was Anna Riverdale in fourth, Ada in third, Ottaville in second, and the team of Keegan Bame, Grant Eversole, Trenton Barraza, and Trevin Baxter from Columbus Grove was your winner in a time of 44.95. In the boys' 300 meter hurdles, in fifth place, Josiah Richards of Anna, fourth place, Trenton Heacock of Arlington, third place, Cody Ricker of Lincoln View, Leighton Blankemeyer of Columbus Grove in second, and Garrett Trentman from Ottoville in first place with a time of 40.23. In the boys' 800-meter run, Evan Pitts in fifth place from Columbus Grove, John Young of Anna in fourth, Creston Toe of Lincoln View in third, Blake Bixler of Anna in second with a time of 2.01.41. And your winner from Lincoln View, Connor Baldoff, 2.01.38. What a very close race in that 800. In the boys' 200-meter dash, fifth place, Noah Locke of Riverdale, fourth, Alex Lease of Ottoville, Third, Grant Eversole of Columbus Grove. Second, Braxton Althauser of Macomb. And your winner, Jackson Brown of Ada, with a time of 23.41. Luke Ellerbrock continuing to run his own race. He's got five laps left to go. His teammate still in second. And we've got a Lincoln View runner that has moved into third. Anna is now in fourth. In the boys' pole vault, it was Clay Hurt in fifth place from Arlington. Quinton Schnipke from Ottaville in fourth place. Dustin Vasco from Anna in third. Zach Tackett of Riverdale in second. And Trevin Baxter from Columbus Grove is your winner with a height of 14 feet, 7 inches. In the boys' 400-meter dash, your top five finishers, Caleb Hickman, number five from Ada. Fourth place, Jaron Nottage of Anna. Third, Jason Muter of Anna. Second, Luke Donaldson of Riverdale. And first place, Trenton Barraza of Columbus Grove with a time of 53.05. Well, Luke Ellerbrock has four laps and 100 meters left to run. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back at the two lap mark don't go away. You're watching the Tracy Brown Invitational at Columbus Grove right here on WOSN. Two laps to go for our leader, Luke Ellibrock from Columbus Grove. The meet record is 940.50. Set back in 2008 by Chase Violet. Luke Ellibrock comes into this meet with a seed time of 945. He's already broken one meet record today. He's a senior. This is it. This is the time to do it. 1600 record is his. Is he trying to get this record? Now, the unfortunate thing is we don't have a clock. We're not going to see what his time is until we get the results, but we can definitely tell that he is on a mission here as he just continues to get a stronger and stronger lead as he's getting closer to his second to last straightaway. His teammate is still in second place. That's Levi Bryan back around. You can't see him. He's about two, not quite, about 150 yards maybe behind him. But that's Luke Ellerbrock. His classic style of running, we've seen him in uh, cross country with his great success. We are seeing him start off this final track season of his high school career with more great success. And one more lap until he is finished with this race. You're seeing some of the runners ahead of him. He has been lapping quite a few runners. He just continues to have a strong stride. It's really impressive to see how he just continues. I think he's speeding up actually, as now he's making his way back to the straightaway. He does not look like, he does not look like he's run as much as he's already run tonight. He just continues to be strong. He continues to be solid. He continues to have a goal that he is working to achieve on that back straightaway, getting ready to lap another competitor. I don't want to downgrade any of our other runners. The 3200 is a tough race, and I have great admiration for all runners who are willing to run this race, because it's tough. Eight laps around this track, but look at this guy make his way in. Luke Ellerbrock from Columbus Grove. 
pushing his way toward the finish line as he barrels down this straightaway for his final 50 meters of his final lap. Everyone is clapping. Luke Ellibrock is your winner in this race. Well, we have made it to our final girls event of this race, or of this meet rather, and this race is going to be the deciding factor on who wins this meet. Right now, in fourth place, Lincoln View has 74. Anna is in third with 82.75. Riverdale is in second with 131.75. And Columbus Grove is in first with 137. Columbus Grove and Riverdale both have relays in this heat, and they are the top two seated times. So the winner of this relay is going to determine who wins this meet. Here's who we have running. In lane two, it's Lincoln View leading off with Brooklyn Byrne. Lane three, Columbus Grove, Jade Roeder is your leadoff. Lane four, Riverdale, Eden Barnes, your leadoff runner. In lane five, it's Anna with Ava Reed. And lane six, it's Ada with Mariah King. The gun is off and the first runners are making their way around. Again, a reminder, Lincoln View is in lane two, Columbus Grove in lane three, Riverdale in lane four, Anna in five, and Ada in lane six. Columbus Grove wasting no time to make up that first stagger, running past Riverdale right now on that straightaway. Jade Roeder, Kendall Palti, Devaney Pingle, and Lauren Ockmoody are the runners that are slated to run in this race. These runners will stay in their lanes for the entire, um, their entire lap. And that's Columbus Grove with the lead, but not anymore. That's Anna that has taken over the lead. We've got Let's watch the handoff since they are still staggered. Columbus Grove with the slight lead. Anna second. Riverdale is third. Our second runners are as follows. Harper Rindell for Lincoln View. Kendall Palte for Columbus Grove. Allison Woodruff for Riverdale. Riley George for Anna. And Lydia Damascio for Ada. Second runners now have been able to move their way over into that first spot. And we've got Columbus Grove in the lead. Anna in second, Riverdale in third. The interesting thing about the four by four is you've got four different runners. So many things can happen with every single leg of the race. Of course, Columbus Grove wanting to, uh, to keep this lead. Coming in strong at this point, Riverdale has now just moved into that second place spot as they are getting ready for the handoffs. Palti handing off to Pingle. Woodruff handing off to Powell. George handing off to Walters. Next we have Lincoln View from Rindle to Coyle and Ada will hand off to Hevlin. Really beautiful night for the Tracy Brown Invitational, originally scheduled for Friday. High winds, threat of rain, and other things caused the postponement to tonight. And it has been just a beautiful night for running. What a great start to our spring sports season. We have only had a couple meets so far in WOSN. If your business would like to sponsor one of our upcoming track meets, we would love to hear from you. You can give us a call at 419-339-4444 and ask for our sales department, and we'd be happy to talk to you about our different rates. Columbus Grove bustling their way in, getting ready for the anchor to take the baton. Lauren Achmoody is who I have on my list, and Columbus Grove wants to win this race because they want to win 
this meet. Almost a dead heat for second place right now between Anna and Riverdale. Marissa Baumam is the anchor for Riverdale. Victoria Heitkamp is the anchor for Anna. Slight lead with Anna right now in second place. Of course, you probably can't even see her right now because Columbus Grove is increasing their lead and making a statement on their home track. They want to win this meet. They want to win this race. Lauren Akmoody making her way around. And it's a race for second place. No, it's not anymore. Riverdale anchor is making her way in. And watch out for what could be happening right now because she is barreling down. Marissa Baumam is her eyes on Lauren Akmoody. Can she make up the gap? It's going to be close, but Columbus Grove is going to get the victory and a close second to Riverdale. Anna finishes third, and that's how the four by four finishes, and that's how your meet is going to finish as well. And time now for our final event of the night, event 24, the boys four by 400 meter relay. This is heat two of two coming into this final event. Our top four scorers are in fourth place, Ada with 66.75. Third place, Lincoln View with 71. Second place, Anna with 96.75. And your leader, Columbus Grove with 145. Here's who we have running in this heat. In lane one, it's Ada leading off with Caleb Hickman. Lane two, Anna. Jaron Nottage is your lead off. Lane three, Columbus Grove, Trenton Barraza your winner in the 400 earlier tonight. Lane four, Riverdale, Noah Locke, Lincoln View's Creston Toe will lead off in lane five, and Max Jolliffe for Arlington in lane six. We've had only a couple races under the lights tonight. It's been a beautiful night, wonderful weather for this invitational. But these final races, the girls 4x4 and these boys 4x4, lights came on, cooling, the weather has cooled significantly and we're running a little bit in the dark without those lights, of course. Not running in the dark at all is Trenton Barraza. Take a look at him blazing his way around as the lead off here for this race. Columbus Grove is your leader right now. Now Zane Stecksholdy is supposed to be the next runner. I did hear that he has had an injury. Looks like they did substitute someone else in his place. Trenton Barraza moving in fast. Lincoln views Creston Toe close behind him. It's Columbus Grove handing off first, and it's Lincoln View second. Ada is in third right now. I want to give you a few results as we get close to the end here. Here's what we had in the 3200, top five. Titus Young in fifth from Anna. Ethan D'Souza in fourth from Ada. Maddox Norton from Lincoln View in third. Columbus Grove's Levi Bryan in second, and Columbus Grove's Luke Ellibrock wins with a 958.80. In the girls, 3200 meter run. Fifth place, Annalise Woodruff from Riverdale. Fourth, Ava Milligan of Lincoln View. Third, Katie Donaldson of St. John's. Fourth, Sarah Camphouse of Columbus Grove and your winner Allison Woodruff of Riverdale 11.52.93 and the girls 4x4 four four. in 5th place Arlington, 4th place Lincoln View, 3rd place Anna 2nd place Riverdale and 1st place Columbus Grove with a 4.12.47 in this 4x4 four four, it's still Columbus Grove in the lead it's Anna in 2nd and Lincoln View is in 3rd your 3rd runners are on the track and going Logan Mershman for Columbus Grove is your leader He's being chased down right now by Blake Bixler of Anna. Chasing him down is Andrew Wood, oh, I'm sorry, Trace Klausing of Lincoln View. Take a look at what's going on there on that backstroke. Columbus Grove still has the lead, but wow, Anna's runner is running him down, trying to chase him around. What's going to happen in this last 200 here? Who's got the power to move his way around? and the legs on the Anna runner are running fast. The straightaway is here, and Anna's Blake Bixler close to take the lead, but Logan Mershman is saying, I don't think so. I'm gonna keep that lead and hand it off to Leighton Blankenmeyer. 
for the anchor. Here they go, Blankenmeyer versus Muter. Look at the speed of those legs fly, almost running in unison. Columbus Grove starting to take off, increasing the lead there on the straightaway. As we watch this final lap unfold, we will give you the girls' results. Fourth place, Lincoln View with 79. Third place, Anna with 88.75. Second place, Riverdale with 139.75. And your girls' champions, Columbus Grove with 147 points. And the Columbus Grove boys are looking to seal their championship as well as their anchor plows his way toward the finish line. He's not gonna let anybody come and get close to him. It's going to be Columbus Grove winning the four by four. Anna in second, Lincoln View in third place. Take a look at what's happening for fourth place right there at the finish. Oh, the four by four is always so much fun to watch. We hope you've enjoyed this broadcast of the Tracy Brown Invitational. We've enjoyed being here at Columbus Grove all evening. I'm Jennifer Beck with Jacob O'Neill. Thank you so much for being with us and watching this broadcast. More track to come still this season. We hope to see you at one of our meets. You're watching Track and Field right here on WOSN.